name is Annie Emke, and I create wood sculptures. I've been building sculptures for 10 to 15 years. Started off doing inlay prior to that, so that was my introduction to woodworking. Inlays for musical instruments, guitars and such. Um, you'll see fingerboards, uh, they'll have beautiful vine patterns. That produced so many beautiful, wonderful little cutoff scraps that I couldn't bear to throw away or put in the fireplace. And so it snowballed into sculpture building. Whenever I see a tree coming down anywhere, I'll go take a look at it. I mean, you'll see, you know, people taking down trees in their front yards or, or the city in the little town of Levita where I live there. Also, guitar builders all over the country who have done custom inlay work for it, they also save me their cuts and so we do some swapping and trading and whatnot. My ideas, my inspirations come rolling in like freight trains. Um, there's no stopping of them. At any given time, I have 20 or 30 piled up that all want to be manifested, and I can't create quick enough to keep up with, with myself. I mean, sometimes something will come in so clear, and I have to just sit down and build it. Um, I don't do a lot of sketching or planning or mapping out of my pieces. There's, of course, some functional design work that has to go in to make sure that, that things work properly. But, um, but really, I just sit down and start building, and the pieces always seem to build themselves. I would love to make everything that I'm making right now big. Pieces that you can walk into. Same amount of detail, but I, I'm ready to go much bigger. So a lot of the pieces that are in this gallery, in a sense, are studies. And there's piece wheels that I would love to make the wheels much bigger and have something that you can go and physically grab and spin and pull. Herman Hess wrote, nothing is holier, nothing is more exemplary than a beautiful strong tree. When a tree is cut down and reveals its naked death wound to the sun, one can read its whole history in the luminous inscribed disc of its trunk in the rings of its years, in the scars, all the struggle, all the suffering, all the sickness, all the happiness and prosperity stand truly written, the narrow years and the luxurious years, the attacks withstood, the storms endured.